When using a tongue scraper, you remove a thin, sticky layer of bacteria, food particles, and dead cells from the surface of your tongue, keeping your mouth clean and improving your breath. Yes! However, applying too much pressure can be harmful. By scraping too aggressively, you can damage the protective top layer of your tongue, making it more sensitive, especially to spicy or acidic foods. And pressing too hard can create tiny cuts on the surface, which may allow bacteria to enter and increase the risk of infections or irritation. To perform an eyebrow lift, the doctor uses a fine needle to insert thin, dissolvable threads under your skin. These threads have tiny barbs that latch onto the underlying tissue, once they are in place, the doctor carefully pulls them upward, lifting your eyebrows to a higher position. The barbs anchor into the tissue, holding your skin in place to maintain the lift. Over time, the threads gradually dissolve, but as they do, they stimulate collagen production. This prolongs the lifting effect even after the threads are gone. A surgeon makes a small opening in the abdomen by pulling part of the colon through the abdominal wall, creating a stoma. Then, it gets attached to the skin. After the procedure, a plastic cover is placed over the stoma, linking it to a collection bag. As food moves through the digestive system, waste travels through the intestines and empties into the bag. People with a colostomy bag should avoid heavy lifting and may need to empty their bag more often. However, it generally doesn't interfere much with daily activities. Bones might seem breakable, but they're crazy strong. Thanks to a mix of tough minerals and flexible collagen, just a cubic inch of bone can handle the weight of nearly five full-size cars. All because bones have three layers. Periosteum is a thin outer layer that covers the bone, filled with nerves and blood vessels. Compact bone is the hard, strong layer you see in a skeleton. Cancellous bone is a soft, spongy layer that has tiny holes filled with bone marrow, which makes blood cells. 